Well, I'm not technically from the South. <laughs> that's, what my At family, all. that's what my family tells me. I know, me. every day. But I did grow up in a very, like, I grew up like 30 miles from a gas station. You know, like I grew up on farms out in the country. I guess I, I just started realizing that what I had been doing growing up all along was kind of art. You know, like I had pet coons and I had trained them to do things and I was always building shit. I guess I just decided one day that 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 was that I could be an artist and that it sounded fun. And that was just kind of that. I'm from Fairhope, Alabama, which is coast of Mobile on the Gulf Coast. And I grew up there and then I was in like advertising and it was I hope not at all what you think it is. So I was like, this is this is awful. I'm leaving this. And for me, I was just like, well, you know, if I'm gonna go back to school, I, I might as well do something I enjoy. And for at the time, I was like, you know, I, I think I'd probably like sculpture. Turns out I was pretty good at it, and then and things just snowball from there. It doesn't hurt that we that we kind of like each other and get, get along a little bit. And it's at this point, it's hard to even tell who, whose idea it was to begin with. Well, for example, the fish fry truck, I think, is when it officially began. At least people never even heard of a crawfish. We gotta bring them some crawfish. Hey, what's a food truck missing? That's, I mean, everybody's just standing around the thing, stuff in their face, let's give them Let's give them a place where they can come and sit and enjoy and, and, and socialize and, and make it more of an experience. I almost hate saying I'm a performance artist because just that term comes with like these horrible associations. I think that there's a definite resurgence in it, but I think people are still trying to figure out like what its role is in today's world, really. This is the world's largest balloon. <laughs> Been collaborating since we've been in New York, and before that, Every, everything now is has just meshed into a, a collaboration. Neither one of us intentionally. No, it's nothing we were ever like. Came let's to this collaborate. point, it wasn't. It wasn't anything. Uh, that that would, sounded like the worst idea ever to collaborate with. I, I, I hated the idea. I think we just kind of needed each other's help at first because we were well, in grad school. And yeah, we, were, we, we weren't yeah. necessarily collaborating, but everything like that we did was very much like, hey, Paul, I have this idea. I want to tax me hundred mice and hang them from the ceiling and I puppeteer them. And Paul would be like, yes. I said, that's disgusting. <laughs> and you should totally do it. We're usually drinking in some establishment, and what, what we've come to find out is whatever I, whatever whatever we remember the next morning, it's yeah. worth revisiting, and and that makes it kind of a good idea. You know, the deeper and deeper we get into it, we've just been really struck by how ridiculous this whole scenario is and we kind of want to highlight that in a ridiculous and absurd fashion and so we are poking fun that we're poking fun ourselves too though because really it's the whole situation is it's a crazy world in which we're deeply a part of. I'm 
pra cá. Probably pretty good. Just like for, for whatever reason, like aesthetically, a lot of times like like perfect, beautifully crafted objects are not as good as something that's kind of hastily slapped together and, and 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 you can see the hot glue and you can see the spray paint and you know what it's made of and you and that it almost conjures up more emotion and more feeling. Well it's just that feeling of like of, of mm -hmm. mad world that you have to get this stuff so quickly. As a group, we encourage each other to do what we might blow off to be individually, or if we were on our own, be like, no, that's never gonna work. We're gonna do what we were gonna do, and, and our attempts to like fit into the art world are that. You know, when we poke fun at the fact that we're trying to fit in the art world while we're trying to fit in the art world. The art world is what it is. I mean, either you hate that or you, or you, or you accept it and you be a part of it. Yeah, there's a lot of risk in what we do and strangely between the two of us it's almost like we forget about it. We almost like have this swagger where we're trying to be like, oh, we're fine. And the show must go on kind of yeah. mentality too. Yeah. It's like we can't worry about that because what's the other option? We don't do it. I mean that's that's not that's not an option. That's not that's not feasible. That's what is that, that that's gonna get us nowhere. Anyway, Nobody go ahead. This is such a do. long story about how you got to be. I'm raised. done. <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> you can look it up. I'm saying that I could be really wrong. I mean, you think about like... There's no wrong answer, Jen. <laughs> it's art. Actually, I can say whatever the hell I want to say. <laughs>